Hey guys, Brick Queen here with a really cool Lego Ideas project to share with you guys. But this one is so cool, it's already hit 10,000 supporters. So this one is going to go into the next review stage, which is awesome. Um, now, Gravity Falls, the Mystery Shack. It's a really, really cool looking uh, idea. I love it. Now, before I get too far into this, I do want to mention... You guys may remember that there was another Gravity Falls Mystery Shack set or project on Lego Ideas a while back. Now that one, we don't exactly know why, but it was denied. And this is the, the other one. Um, and I just wanted to show this to you real quick. It's from a different, uh, a different person. Um, the same person did not submit both of these. Um, this one I think is really strange because, so they put this, uh, decision on the ability to produce the, the project. Um, and, uh, you know, they don't tell anybody why, uh, basically this, this is the line that matters. We've chosen to archive your project and no longer consider it for production for reasons communicated to you privately. I remember making a video on this um, around the time it happened. You see, this is dated August 15th, 2019. So it's been a year, um, <laughs> a little over a year, actually. But uh, this person did create a nice looking set. But we don't know why Lego made the decision to archive it. And so we really don't know if it will have any effect on this one or not. Um, and you know, it is ever so obvious how much, uh, people want to see a Gravity Falls set. Um, I just want to show you this real quick because under the official comments, you can see when they hit certain milestones. Now I've looked around the page. I don't see a date for when the project was submitted, uh, so I don't know exactly how long everything took, but um, August 20th, 100 supporters. August 21st, one day later, 1,000 supporters. August 31st, 5,000 supporters. And this project hit 10,000. Uh, I don't know exactly when, but I know uh, it's been a little while ago now. Um, so I, I don't know if it's just coincidence or not, but it looks like this project was posted close to uh, like almost at like a year to the day after the other one, or maybe after the other one was archived. Um, so if you, if you're not familiar with Gravity Falls, um, it's, <laughs> it's kind of like a kid show for conspiracies. <laughs> um, but I enjoyed the show. I thought it was really, really awesome. And so I would love to have this set um, and not to diss the designer of this project here at all. They made a really nice design. The figures were pretty good, but I like the new design from this other person even better. Um, so this one was submitted by Figura and this one was submitted by Top Lego 8. Um, not familiar with either one per se, but two totally different people, obviously. Um, but just check out uh, just the pictures of this set. They are incredibly awesome. I love the design. I love the, the way the roof is like textured like this. Um, and there's just so much included with this. There's more minifigures. Uh, you do have little Gideon. Which I think may have been added in an update in the other one. I can't remember for sure. Um, I also love the fact that the pig is included. Um, this one looks incredibly awesome. Um, just all the characters that are included. Very cool. Uh, obviously, this one is designed to come apart very easily. Um, that super ups the playability of this particular set. Um, like I said... I'm, I'm really sad we don't know the reason behind the other one getting denied 
Well, and it really wasn't even denied. They archived it. So I don't know. I just, <laughs> it's funny that the show is like kind of conspiracy theory related. And then you do something like you just archive the other project and we don't know why. There could be conspiracy theories there. <laughs> anyway, but this set is so, so well designed. Um, all the different little rooms, um, gift shops and all kinds of stuff. And I just would love to own this set. Um, I will be so, so happy if Lego decides to make this. It would just be awesome, wouldn't it? I mean, look at all the accessories. Just, just, I mean, not even the set itself. Just look at the accessories that are included in this. This is like the perfect Gravity Falls set. Um, I, maybe you can, maybe you can think of something, but I personally can't think of anything that is missing from this set. Um, actually, <laughs> I say that, but there is one thing I would add. Just the little, uh, little pyramid guy, you know, the little yellow pyramid guy. It's been a while since I watched it, so I don't remember if he had a name, but if you watch the show, you know who I'm talking about. Um, but I would just love to see this be an actual set. It would be so awesome. And I have no idea if Lego will really consider it or not based on what they said to this other Gravity Falls set. It was the Mystery Shack also. Um, this reasons communicated to you privately. I totally get, you know, having some privacy. I understand, but I, I wish they would give us just kind of maybe like just a general idea why it was archived. I mean, I don't know why it would be a private thing if it was like, I don't know, licensing or something like that. Um, that seems like something you could easily tell everybody. Oh yeah, we had trouble licensing it. Sorry, can't make it. So I feel like it's got to be something else. Um, I I don't know if maybe, and I don't want to accuse anybody of anything, but maybe it has something to do with something the designer of that particular project did. Uh, I mean, I, I don't know. We could sit here and, you know talk conspiracy theories about it all day about why was this archived and we don't know why. Um, <laughs> why, Lego? Don't know. But this is the new one. It's already hit 10,000. You don't even have to go click support on it. Uh, people already have done that for us. This set is incredibly awesome and I would love it if Lego decides to make it. Um, and obviously, if it's already at 10,000, it's going into the next review stage. So maybe sometime next year, <laughs> we will hear the decision on this one. Um, I will definitely be watching to see what happens with this set. Uh, I don't know if they'll make it or not, but I sure hope so. Um, but I've talked long enough. I would love to hear from you guys. Uh, do you like this project? Do you know anything that I don't know about the other project? Do you know anything, any details about why this was archived? If you do, please share them in the comments because I would love to know the answer to that because I think that would give us a really good idea of whether or not Lego will really consider this one. Um, but let me know your thoughts in the comments below and I will see you guys next time.